Okay, looking at number eight um, on the review, we want to sketch the graph of a polynomial with a positive leading coefficient and zeros of x equals 3 with multiplicity 3 and x equals negative 1. So if I come over here to x equals 3, I'm going to plot a 0 and x equals negative 1. I'll plot another 0. And then I'm told that I have a positive leading coefficient, and I know that I have uh, multiplicity 3, and a linear factor would be a total of 4. So this is a degree 4 polynomial, which is an even degree. So the leading coefficient test tells me that both ends have to face up. So if I have to start up on the left and have a linear factor of negative 1, my graph has to cross through the negative 1. And then I have multiplicity of 3 at this 0 of positive 3, and I have to end facing up. So the wiggle has to come through that real 0 at 3, and then the end heads up to positive infinity. So my graph has to cross at negative 1, and it has to wiggle through positive 3. Okay, in number 9, we want to sketch the graph of the polynomial that has a negative leading coefficient. So negative leading coefficient, and the zeros are negative 2 with multiplicity 2, and x equals positive 2 with multiplicity 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. That's an odd degree. So I know that my ends are going to start up on the left and end down on the right. And then my zeros are at negative 2 and at positive 2. I have to start up on the left, so I'm up here, and that negative 2 has multiplicity of 2. So it has to start up and bounce at negative 2. Then x equals 2 has multiplicity of 3, and it has to end down on the right. So my polynomial has to turn, wiggle through the positive 2, and then head down to positive infinity. So at negative 2, I have a bounce, and at positive 2, I have a wiggle, and my end behavior starts up on the left and ends down on the right. Okay, then looking at number 10, if x equals 3 minus i, remember i is the square root of negative 1, the imaginary number, is a 0 of a polynomial, <coughs> then I know that x equals 3 plus i must also be a 0, and that's because imaginary zeros always come in conjugate pairs. So if you have a 3 plus i, you have to have a 3 minus i to have its conjugate. If x equals 3 minus i is a 0 of the polynomial, then to find the factors of the polynomial, I take that x equals 3 minus i, and I want to solve that for x. So I would subtract 3 and then add i to set it equal to 0. So I take my solution and then I get the factor by setting that equal to 0. And um, this would be one of the two factors, x minus 3 plus i. To get the other factor, I have to do the same thing but with the conjugate, because remember they come in conjugate pairs. And up here in number 10, we found the conjugate of 3 minus i was 3 plus i. So if x equals 3 plus i, then when I solve this um, to 0, I subtract 3 and then subtract i, and then that would be my second factor. So x minus 3 minus i um, would be the factor for the conjugate in number 11.